day. We made it. We made it. That was like... 16 episodes only. I was like, I was so positive. I'll be like, yo, today I'm going to get through 50 of them. Eh, close enough, 60. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Lore of League of Legends. Uh, Derek, Shield of the Lore of League has been redesigned since first covering him. Oh, yeah, he was redesigned. He's been shamed by a dereliction of duty, exiled from his homeland, and sentenced to ascend the slopes of Mount Targon to find redemption. Really? Without further ado, I present to you the lore of Tarek, the shield of Valoran. Enjoy. Valoran. Oh, wow. Expected to serve as a stalwart guardian of Demacia, Tarek's life was meant to be the... On a positive note, he's substantially less um, flamboyant than he was before. He's still Fabio, don't get me wrong, but he's less flamboyant Fabio. ...model of focused, selfless dedication to the ideals of king and country. Always seeing himself as a protector, he, however, never felt the need or limit to define whom and what he protected. Okay. Most of Tarek's contemporaries were focused on the martial principles of battle, which came naturally and effortlessly to him. The young warrior was drawn instead to the fragile wonders that gave life meaning. This was a potentially treasonous philosophy to have, especially for one of Tarek's standing and role within the military hierarchy. But he chose to dedicate himself to understanding the simple truths of love, beauty, and life, so he could become their champion. Admired by all, Tarek used his disarming manner and innate warmth to charm his way past most obstacles, and on the rare occasions that they failed, his skill with hammer and sword would be counted on to settle the matter. As his quest, like, I know what you mean. He's more colorful, but it feels okay. Like flamboyant is not the right word, but I can't use the right word to describe what I mean. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's more peacock. Sure, I'll give you that. But he's less LGBTQ. <laughs> Say it like that, I guess. He still is, don't get me wrong, he just feels less. He feels more manly LGBT rather than before he was kind of like a sissy LGBT, you know. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, man. Oh, God. I'm trying to be kosher here, man. I'm trying to be... Uh... <laughs> oh, God. I know what you mean, and I'm telling you. Really? You think they upped it? Uh, let's see, let's see. Tarek before and after. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Like, he's flamboyant in both of these, right? Don't get me wrong, he is. But these crystals look a lot better than whatever this is, you know? Uh, is there like an in-game before and after? Okay, all the new. Mm. Kind of looks the same. Is there like a regular one, all the new? Like, I don't know, man. I look at this and I'm like, this is super flamboyant. And this is this is not flamboyant at all. Uh, where's a good comparison? Did he hide it before, though? I feel like before it was like pretty much at cl the closet's door, you know? Now he's like, he's a, like, depends on the skin, he's like Prince Charming from Shrek, t in between that and like LGBT, you know? <laughs> it depends on the skin. You know, like this, you know, this looks like a Prince Charming type thing. This looks overall just like a pretty boy. 
you know but like before even like the default skin i feel like at this like obviously like the pink one always feels like yeah but like this yeah he looks you know he looks more normal well normal is a bad word but he looks you know just pr like a pretty boy Right. This one will always look flamboyant as fuck, okay? <laughs> this one, you can't help it, right? But it's like all the other skins, he doesn't look as uh, as what he was, let's just say like that. You know? Look, look at this, right? I don't know, man. I always looked at this, like the original Tarek, and he looked very flamboyant. Even like just regular skins. Now it just looks more manly. Could be wrong though. Like this looks like a Chad, you know? Slightly slightly LGBT Chad, but still a Chad, you know? We're like it just looks like this this is what he looks like, right? He looks this is this is Tarek. This is what he looks like. And I bet this is what they used to make him as well. You know? <laughs> I guess, yeah, in game is flaming. Oh my god, this is what it looks like right now in the pictures. Straight up. <laughs> Before, I don't know, like, I can't... This, 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 this is him. Right there. This is Tarek, okay? But before, like, I don't know, like, who, can I think of something? Uh, morning workouts. Uh, 80s. I need a man. <laughs> he reminded me of this before. <laughs> Just say it like that. A, a version of this, slightly beefier. <laughs> That's what he reminded me before. <laughs> that was Derek. Oh my god, bro. The 80s were weird. Oh god, is there another one? Oh man, no, they're all females. God damn. Oh man, but it's, yeah, that's that's what he reminded me of before, and now he reminds me more of Fabio. Both you can be like, yeah, maybe it's gay, maybe it's LGBT, you know. But like, <laughs> it's like just what he reminds me of. I don't know. Even this. Look at this skin, right? Which is like the most flamboyant one. Even as flamboyant as the skin, I'm talking about just the picture. In the game, it looks, it doesn't look as, as good, right? But even here, I would say he looks less homosexual. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> even this, it looks less. Ballot ...and set regimental meetings to take horseback rides to observe the silver cloak of night settle across the countryside. Tarek knew in his own way he was training in a manner that just as dedicated and focused as his fellow Damasians, yet it wasn't seen that way by his superiors. Tarek's casual nature of disregard for orders and disinterest in his patriotic calling finally put him at odds with nearly everyone in authority, his family, his king, and especially his longtime friend. Bro, he sounds like me when I was in the army. It's crazy. Like, me and him are like, Super, yes, the artwork is Fabio, Chad, Sigma. Yeah, 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 Sigma male. Oh my god, don't, don't start with the Sigma male. <laughs> ah, Sigma. The, oh, the lone wolf. <laughs> Garen recognized him for what he truly was. A man with the potential to become one of Demacia's greatest heroes. The fact that Tarek seemed to be thumbing his nose at his destiny as well as his country enraged Garen. One male, one man wolf Eventually, back. even his former friend could no longer protect him. And Tarek's military Wait, who, who was his former him. friend? Garen? Garen recognized yeah. him for what he truly was. A man with the potential to become one of Demacia's greatest heroes. Yeah. The fact that Tarek seemed to be thumbing his nose at his destiny as well as his country enraged Garen. Buddy, story of my life right there, man. But in game, his run run away all the way. <laughs> Eventually, even his former friend could no longer protect Oh, God. Tarek's military yeah, it doesn't translate well in game. Demotion after demotion pushed Tarek further from Damasi's heart until at last he found himself commanding a small squad. But then you see these, in, but the newer skins, right? Oh, my God. The This skin, the, the heavy metal looking one, like the Dragon Slayer, I think it's, it is. 
That those look sick, man. You can't even say he was flamboyant in those ones. Time to guard an inconsequential ruined fortress out in the borderland wilds. After weeks spent standing in the rain and mud as ordered, and with no threat evident, Tarek decided to let his men sleep while he wandered to a nearby temple to take in its cyclopean architecture. This one's the fifth? Yeah, it's as really morning nice. morning dawned and lit the temple's overgrown cloisters, Tarek finally decided to head back and check on his men. He was greeted by a scene of carnage. His troops had been butchered in their sleep, their corpses bearing the jagged hallmarks of the void's monstrous predators. Tarek had failed his men, his country, and perhaps most painfully, his self-avowed mission to protect life. He returned to Demacia in shame, stripped of his rank and sentence by his old friend to endure the crown of stone, a ceremony that demanded a dishonored soldier to ascend Mount Targa. This was known to be considered a death sentence as few mortals who ascended the slopes ever returned. While the crown of stone was traditionally used by the dishonored to simply flee Demacia and make a new life in exile, Elf King. <laughs> Tarek decided to actually atone for his mistake and set out for the towering spire of Mount Targa. <laughs> Look at that fucking chin, bro. <laughs> it's like, this chin <laughs> is literally like that, that chat picture, the Instagram chat. The chat meme. The ascent nearly claimed him, body and soul, numerous times, but Tarek pushed past the pain past the memories of his mistake, the ghosts of his dead men, and other tests inflicted upon him by the mountain. As he approached the summit, Tarek was challenged by a seemingly never-ending myriad of conflicting realities, each warped existence offering a new horrifying vision. Tarek experienced the infinite fates that could befall those who had no one to protect them in their time of crisis. He saw the Alabaster Library engulfed in pitch and flame, and still he died. All the elves in the league are amazing. I wish there was an elf race. Who else is an elf skin, though? Who else? Closest we ever got was Janna. Janna is like, yeah, but her she's like by default elfish. I guess. Into the oh, that's what you mean. You wish there was an elf race. Close we ever got was Janna. Yeah, Janna looks very elfish. Yeah, for sure. Who else is the elf skins uh, though? To retrieve the poetry of Tom. He screamed in rage as the frost guard ran the last dream stack up a blind cliff and then leapt into the abyss himself in a desperate attempt to save it. Before the even gates of. Oh, Ash. Um. I mean, the, not the Christmas elves, I'm assuming. <laughs> Tarek slumped to his knees at the sight of I guess Ash has the elf skin too. Aloft as a warning. Between Tarek and his friends stood the sum total of Noxus's mind. The Varus. And yet still without hesitation, Varus elf skin. Tarek raised his shield and drove all before him. Claiming Garen from the gates, the young warrior marched towards Damasia, heavy with his burden, knowing full well that his return would ensure his execution. As he walked, Tarek looked upright, and the blood-strewn fields of Noxus gave way to the star-filled expanse of Mount Targon. His trials complete and freed from all illusions, Tarek... Wait, is Viridian Kale an elf? Really? I'd never even thought about that. I know she was green, but like... Didn't even think about that. ...and himself huh. stood at the pinnacle of the mountain, and he was not alone. Kale in Israel, Emerald Kale, Janna. The sackcloth of night itself stood something wearing the shape of a man. Its features composed from. Oh, you're forgetting Ash. Stars, <laughs> yet he was struck by the familiarity of its nature. The it Nottingham spoke. Israel. I mean, I guess, but like. Where's the Nottingham? Let's see. I mean, I guess, yeah. Guess that's an elf. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's an elf then. Yeah. I actually, I don't think I've seen it in game maybe once ever. Like in game, it doesn't even look like an elf, right? Well, this is the old one, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. This one looks more elfish, I guess. Okay, fair enough. 
open a thousand whispers that yeah. cut through in game you can't really tell though like if you know you know but it's like in game it just looks like a green guy same with the viridian kale she just looks like a green kale you know and a mountain of wind and though he heard no recognizable words he understood the figure's intent with utter clarity it called itself the protector Impressed by the steadfast resolve that Tarek had shown throughout his trials, the otherworldly being deemed the fallen Tomasian hero a worthy avatar, imbuing him with ethereal powers. The protector spoke the truths that Tarek had known his entire life, and of the mantle that he had unknowingly been preparing for with every decision that brought him to the top of the mountain. As the protector's whispers faded, Tarek received a final warning, that he would stand as the shield of Valoran, but crashing against him would be a wave of howling madness, an ocean of gnashing teeth intent at consuming mm. all, a squalid horror born of the void. Reborn with purpose and power, Tarek gladly accepted the seemingly impossible challenge and now dedicates himself to his sworn duty as the steadfast guardian of the entire world. Basically, the Masia was just not enough for him to actually like be like... Man, I don't want to protect the mass. It's too easy. Now, protecting the world. Now you're talking. <laughs> it's like he's a he's an overachiever. If you don't give him enough like enough motivation, enough like a high enough goal, body ain't gonna bother. All right, yeah. So that's uh, that's Tarek. And then yeah, I hopefully tomorrow I'll have time and I'll do the bird and the branch stuff. That's like ten episodes. 